Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us on yet another Protester Game Day. And this is kind of a recap here because uh, Saturday there was a lot of protests going on. First of all, we had what was supposed to be the mother of all rallies. And uh, although that kind of petered out a little bit, it was definitely it was a pro-Trump rally. It was actually planned at Trump International Hotel the night before. Uh, the, really kind of what the story that took the day was uh, the uh, Insane Clown Posse, uh, of course, a, a rock slash rap group, I guess you could describe them, uh, prevalent in the 90s and, and uh, even more so today. Uh, basically, set the stage for us, Henry. Well, Philip, we showed up um, Sunday, uh, and uh, we, after a little bit of scouting, s Saturday night, where we saw a bunch of Trump uh, supporters uh, who, who call themselves the, the, uh, the Trump biker, uh, what is it? Oh, yeah, the, the bikers, the bikers for, Trump. for Trump. Uh, they were actually in, uh, in, pre in, in presence uh, today, yesterday as well. Yes, so they, uh, they started showing up uh, around Saturday night, where we watched them uh, kind of wheel into the uh, mother of all rallies. Uh, to, to, to get ready for that uh, the day before. But showing up Sunday, it was kind of a whole different scene, uh, Philip. The, 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 uh, the mother of all rallies protests didn't seem to be where all the action was. Uh, the action actually seemed to be going on at the Juggalo March. Yes, uh, what you were just speaking yeah, of. Yeah, we're of at least, uh, at least I'd have to say 50,000, maybe, uh, of people came and basically kind of surrounded, actually, uh, the National Mall uh, just behind the Lincoln Memorial here, uh, which is actually really kind of interesting because that, of course, was the scene of uh, Martin Luther King Jr.'s March on Washington. Uh, and I think that was interesting, uh, the kind of level of symbolism, because although we've had a couple of other marches around D.C. Uh, since uh, J Donald Trump took office, uh, this was probably the largest one in that particular area using that particular imagery. Now, of course, uh, this was actually an apolitical rally here. Um, they weren't really taking a stand against Donald Trump, which honestly, I've just never seen before. <laughs> right. I, was, I remember, be, I remember, Philip, I would go in and I would ask questions to these people, yeah. um, specifically about politics or, or, certain, or certain questions about uh, policy issues pertaining politics, and they just seemed to not care at all. Definitely. All Definitely. they really wanted to do was spread the message of peace, unity, and the fact that they were not a gang, that the, that the Juggalos, in fact, were not a gang, that they were just a, a unified uh, group of e people. Exactly, exactly. So, uh, so just to set the stage a little bit for you, uh, the FBI formally declared um, followers of this group who refer to themselves as Juggalos as uh, basically the, the kind of the lowest legal form of gang. And I think that's really interesting. Uh, one of that was one of basically the only reason why this group here was actually protesting in D.C., uh, yeah, on, on Saturday. And uh, so that was kind of uh, basically the whole thing. But I think what was interesting, they, they pretty much were all around kind of freedom. There was a lot of other marches. Uh, Black Lives Matter was in attendance. We had the, impeach the Trump impeachment rally was in attendance as well. And of course, we had Antifa. Right, and uh, Antifa didn't. Uh, uh, Antifa was Antifa. Let's just say that yeah. much, folks. Um, so b b before we ever, before we talk too much about what this uh, what this group was here, let's go ahead and hear directly from the words of uh, uh, Insane Clown Posse frontman himself, Jay. I would fucking actually march for a redneck's right for his neck to be red. I don't want to take nobody's rights away for anything they want unless they want to hurt. <laughs> Or be foul, hurt the feelings, or walk around <laughs> projecting negative energy. There's no point for that. No point. But everybody's opinion is worth more than gold to me, even if it's not my opinion or Shaggy's. We still believe in the right to have an opinion. Taking away, as you know, taking away somebody's opinion is no different than sewing their butthole shut. Do you want to sew a man's butthole shut? I mean, I might want to watch what happens in fast forward, but I don't want to do the actual sewing. The point is, fuck discrimination, right? Fuck Democrats, fuck baby killers. Oh, yeah. Fuck you, my yeah. Fuck them all. What do you think about Antifa? Family! Family! <laughs> I got 
fucking cop. Fuck. He's behind us. Yeah, what do you think about that? We're scared. Do you think they're scared? Yeah. We were walking all these bitches. Not so Hey, fuck the media editors. This is the client out the road. What do you all think about Donald Trump? President Donald Trump. How do you feel? Fuck him. Beautiful. So you, you don't like He's a little bit drunk. I'm not drunk. Okay. There's a difference. Deal with it. Uh, opinions on Donald Trump? I don't really have any opinions. He's a, he's a guy. But we're playing the game here. I'm, you might like the game. I don't know. We're playing again. Who right. likes Antifa? Do you like Antifa? I don't like <laughs> I really have no opinion on the matter. Anyone wants to fight? Does anyone here like Antifa? Anyone? I don't have an opinion either. <laughs> so people just really don't seem to care about Antifa here, folks. Yeah. But Antifa seems to really care about the people here. I do not want anything with that. What was that? Louder. Nothing to do with them. Nothing to do with him? Nothing. So what about the fact that they're here today? Uh, not, nothing to do. He didn't hear me. You know what? Antifa, you know, the, the radical leftist group that, is, uh, that has been uh, kind of, you know, doing some things around the country that have been controversial. What do you think about that? Like racist? Um, I mean, they've been very violent on... Uh, is that those motherfucking bitches who went to Charlottesville? They are. They yeah, fuck those kids. Yeah. Fuck those people. Yeah. Fuck those white folks with torches and shit. Fuck that shit. We burn rubber flags around this motherfucker. Fuck hate. Okay. Fuck hate. Fuck hate all day. Now what about the group? So that was the white supremacy group. What about the group? Uh, the idea that was clashing with that white supremacy. How do you feel about that? I don't know nothing about that. But if they're fighting against hate, they're the shit. Fuck hate. Couple shots of us. Fucking shots of us. Big brother don't like us. We don't care. First Amendment right only. Well, Henry, that was quite a, that was quite quite a lot to repackage here. But let's first break it down. First of all, when we were listening to the lead frontman here, I don't know if we were actually listening to Alex Jones <laughs> or the insane insane clown posse over here. I mean, wow. Okay, so basically, so what we know of the group is that they want to make sure that everybody has a freedom to not have their butthole uh, sewn shut. Yes, which, which is key. Is, is, is it's, pre it's pretty good. And he went on for about I would say a minute or, or a minute and a half there talking about. Sewing his butthole, and how or he or making sure that it didn't happen. And making, yeah, and yeah, making sure that it, that he was not the ones, or they were not the <laughs> ones who were going to get their butt buttholes sewn <laughs> shut. So, yeah, so uh, we had several members <laughs> of the group uh, give their little speeches uh, before the march began, and uh, there was a little bit of uh, confusion in the beginning here. Uh, but officially, what they did was they actually marched around the National Mall and came back. And what we actually noticed was when we started to talk that uh, a lot of people didn't really appear to want Antifa to be there. Now, of course, Antifa is the group that's famous for causing violence and uh, turning uh, peaceful rallies into riots. We saw this during the inaugural protest here in Washington, D.C. We saw that uh, during a lot of the other protests out in, uh, in Charlottesville. Antifa was there as well. Uh, and a lot of different other places where violence kind of breaks out as well. Um, and so, essentially, basically, this group was kind of... Some of them just didn't care, but a lot of them seemed outraged pretty much that uh, such a group would actually march with them. Right, and little did they know, some of them, they didn't even know Antifa was 200 yards behind them. Yeah. March, while they were marching. Following so us. we while, while Philip and I were playing this game called Who Likes Antifa amongst the crowd. <laughs> we had a lot of players, um, but nobody really, nobody no, really won nobody that Nobody really, yeah, nobody <laughs> really won the game, but we had a lot of players, and um, like Philip said, the responses were all either... We have no idea who Antifa is, or we do not like Antifa. In much, much, much greater and explicit of words, as you've heard. <laughs> of course, of course. So, um, us being impartial journalists, as we are, of course. we decided to go get the whole side of the story. So we went straight to Antifa, and here's what happened. Uh, what do you say to people that um, I mean, maybe not want your presence here at this march? We've been talking to a lot of people here that say that they don't want Antifa presence here at this march. Hey, I would say seven out of ten said fuck Antifa. Like what, that was their quote. That was that's what they said. So do y'all have a uh, do y'all have a response to that? Invite us. Yeah, that's the uh, is that did that is that did that happen? I don't know. I don't. Yes, we were asked. That's very interesting. We're asked to support their struggle against the Russians from the FBI and other governments. So that's why you all are here. You all you all are marching with 
the, the, the Juggalos. Yeah, we're marching. I mean, that's in solidarity, Antifa, and and the Juggalos. Last time I checked, we're marching right now with the Juggalos. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Well, you're divided by you know a couple hundred yards here and some people. So I, no, I was wondering I mean, if that was perfect. Uh, you like, might have turned around and, and tell the truth or, that we're literally standing with Juggalos. Uh, <laughs> no, I mean, a you want to tell the truth? Uh, couple we're standing, yards, really, couple hundred literally. Yards, you really want to lie right now? Why don't you turn the camera to the camera? Turn the fucking camera to the camera. Cut it out. We have two hours of unedited live footage here. Well, uh, they did not cut it out, first of all. But man, Henry, that guy was really mad at you. So um, so when you were talking about, you were asking them if they were marching with the Insane Clown Posse. Uh, what was what was your line of thinking with that? So the reason I was asking this question, Philip, was because uh, we were there uh, just marching with the, ins with the Juggalos, the Insane uh, Clown Posse whatever you want to call them group and uh, <laughs> and, and and we were we were talking to them about Antifa specifically um, and again I told you that they did not either they did not either know who Antifa was or they did not like Antifa a couple of people said some uh, F Antifas and stuff like that so um, I would say and I said this to the Antifa members I would say seven out of ten uh, uh, juggalo members who we spoke to gave a negative response or did not know who Antifa was so we, we, we approached the Antifa crowd, asking them you know, what they were doing there, and they said that they were invited, actually, by the group. Yeah, and I, and I think that's an important distinction. So the, uh, the band, the Insane Clown Bossy, was a group that actually put this whole thing together. Uh, so it appears that they were actually invited by uh, the band. However, there was a, a very stark kind of difference between uh, what the band, what the band, the objectives of the band and the objectives of the marchers themselves. So I think that was a, kind of a di bit of a disconnect there. Uh, but basically, yeah, so uh, we just basically said uh, to, to their accusations that we weren't showing crowd size, which, you know, we were doing that. Uh, well, we were trying to until until we were kind of well, yeah. <laughs> scrambled up a little Definitely. bit. Definitely. Um, but uh, yeah, so they kept going, uh, going so far as to you know push, attack, and a bunch of things. And uh, then they actually started making fun of us uh, and then started making, apparently we were, uh, we were Alex Jones lookalikes, which I guess I can see it here, but I, I don't know. He has a little bit more hair than listen I to too. Listen to this in, uh, interpersonation of Alex Jones by these people, folks. <laughs> Yeah, they're run by Tucker Carlson. I'm Alex Jones, and I'm here to eat a hamburger. Right, so Let me tell you about the lizard people. <laughs> <laughs> the lizard people are the reason you're here marching. <laughs> <laughs> That's also the baby flavored Pepsi. So, baby flavored Pepsi is the problem. We'll I'm Alex Jones, person. and you're listening to a fucking madman. Ah, I know Zenu from Planet X. Well, Henry, first of all, as an avid consumer of Alex Jones videos, I'd have to say that was actually a pretty spot-on impression. It really was. <laughs> and I think we even told him that it was we pretty... We did, yeah. Really... It's kind of softened them a little bit. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, it was kind of disturbing, really, uh, because uh, I was attacked, and then, of course, you were attacked. And, uh, and, and tell, Henry, tell us a little bit about what happened off-camera. So off-camera, Philip, uh, I was walking. I was still communicating with the Antifa folks, and uh, they were not too happy with us, as we've mentioned before. I was walking and I was looking through the videos and photos I had just recorded on my phone. Uh, little, do it, a, a little, little time passes and a, 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 a man bumps into me pretty hard. Uh, another man bumps into me on my other side of my shoulder pretty hard. So I kind of did a little spin. I was wearing a hat at the time. Next thing you know, my hat's gone. There's two guys going in two separate directions. I don't know who has my hat. Uh, this is after being, you know, have water doused on us and after the group has kind of been treated us unfairly throughout throughout the entire day when Definitely. we were just trying to give them coverage. Right. Uh, the hat goes missing. I end up getting my hat back after a scruffle. Uh, it gets thrown into the crowd. But that just shows you what the group is, is there to do. They're not there to, to, to peace, to protest. Or definitely, definitely. I mean, but, and of course, let, let's be clear here. Okay, so uh, the Insane Clown, Clown Posse and the Juggalos, uh, there was a lot of explosives going on there. Um, but and there was a lot of play fighting. There was a lot of, you know, this is a very kind of a, a you, you could say rough around the edges kind of crowd. Um, but everything is back to its heart, uh, kind of their me core message of family. Um, you know, everybody's a little bit different, but we all uh, share the same kind of taste of music. And you know, that kind of makes us all part of the same, you know, kind of family. It was very uh, strong, uh, very kind of moving, honestly, I I'd have to say, uh, de demonstration. But there was a very stark difference from that between uh, the Antifa things, the people here. Now, as an aside here, I wanted to mention that the members that were not dressed in pure black, 
um, that were kind of surrounding them. They actually were members of Antifa as well um, that were dressed to appear to be um, members of the actual crowd. So the, the gentleman who was uh, engaged in the Alex Jones impression, he was actually a member of Antifa, and he was getting suited up with them. He was. Um, so I think that's really interesting. There was a lot of tactics to try and kind of draw... Um, Cons- you know, basically draw, draw and I think they, and they, also, they use that tactic as well so that they could intertwine with the crowd easier definitely, and make definitely. make themselves look like they they were, they were more welcome there. Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. Well, uh, thank you very much for joining us. There was a lot of protests, and well, folks, there's going to be a lot more. Uh, we have Hillary Clinton coming to D.C., and we're going to bring that to you as well. And of course, actually, we have a, uh, a pretty interesting uh, debate. Uh, one of the the perennial. Uh, Perennial events of the election season 2017 is coming up soon this week, and we'll also bring that to you as well on the scene. Thank you very much for joining us. This is Philip Stuckey at The Real P. Stuckey. And this is Henry Rogers, and it's at, at Henry Rogers, D.C. Thank you very much for joining us, and hope you have a great day.